understanding the fermentation room right now, uh, we have two tanks installed. There's beautiful tanks built by Silver State Stainless right down here in Mount House. We're keeping it all as local as we can. And they're fabulous job. Just look at those tanks. There's some just beautiful tanks. What's more exciting is that each one of these tanks is going to yield 100 tanks of beer and over 12,000 pints of beer. Now that should start to quench the thirst of this thirsty group we have here at Reno and Sparks. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Gaz here, your head brewer, and he's uh, he's looking at most things too and says, I just have to get beer into it. Exciting times are here. Our silos come in, the tanks are coming in today. It's a happy day for us here. Just one day, days and days closer to beer here. That makes me very, very happy. More like beer every day here, Dave. <laughs> we've got silos, we've got tanks coming in today. This is a pretty big day. Truck of mine, paying no attention to the highway signs. 90 mile an hour toward the county line. Oh, quick sack, 12 pack back again. It's a pretty double E double R U N. My buddies and their babies let them down their hat. As long as we're together, it don't matter. It's all right. Maybe that's just the same. One's the same as the other. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Man, this is going to go on. Yeah, just move it. <laughs> yeah. We had um, four tanks. Two of the doors to the ceiling this morning and two more are coming. Each one of these tanks is going to yield a whopping 12,000 pints of beer. And that, uh, that makes me a lot happier there because I, I think I can uh, start knocking down those pints myself. So what, what beers will we be brewing? What beers will we be black? What beers will we be brewing here? Well, we're gonna brew lots of them too. I think you might be overdoing it, Dad. When was the last time I overdid anything? 